Well, I think Pixel Pushers um, is really exposing some of the best practice um, from game artists, um, a lot of whom are affiliated with uh, the city and the games industry in Dundee. Um, and it's really to try and sort of expose their uh, creative process as much as it is um, to show the wonderful work that they do um, that is generated you know, through the technology. This exhibition is, its concept is trying to understand the relationship between um, technology, if you like, and art practice in a wider sense than just digital. So the, the, the uh, pixel pusher, it's a bit like thinking that the artifacts that we see in the games world are very often just what the people see are the things on the screen. So they imagine that somebody just stuck some pixels together. What we're trying to expose here is the where are the antecedents to that? Where is the wealth of artistic practice work that gets done behind the scenes and informs the practice of what looks like pixel pushing at the end? It's good. There's a few artists I recognise uh, that are really well respected within the industry. Uh, Ian McHugh, Alex Ronald, uh, names that roll off my tongue straight away. Uh, Alex has done some fantastic comic work, uh, he's worked with 2000 AD, he's done his own comic. Uh, Ian's frankly a legend in the industry, uh, his work spans many decades now and I just love his style, he's got a really good style. Um, well, there's, there's some figurative pieces, um, some more environmental work. We have a wonderful piece by Forgy Studios who have uh, imagined the, um, the Dundee waterfront and V&A um, within Minecraft, so that's really special. Um, and I think my favourite is probably the, the Ian McHugh um, piece, which is just a really beautifully textured um, sort of landscape. Seeing a project develop over time uh, from concept to the finished article, you see many changes happening and most people wouldn't realise how much work goes into a single image sometimes. Well, I think a lot of people can appreciate the, um, the creative process of a painter or a sculptor, um, but I think often there's this misconception that the, uh, the technology kind of does it for you, you know, that there, there isn't as much creativity that's, that goes into creating an image for um, a game or you know, a piece of concept art. Um, and so we're here today to kind of um, defunct that myth essentially um, and really try and expose the creative process and, and show the kind of wealth of uh, research um, and creativity that goes into creating work like this. Both for people who are practicing in the area to understand and improve their own practice by, by taking from what one would call what normally maybe almost traditional or certainly visual arts practice and probably fine art practice as well and how that can improve their practice it's also important consideration for the general uh, public so that they can actually see greater value in what might seem to be a very, very narrow use of a medium. Now, I think that, that because there is that, those questions at the centre of this exhibition, uh, I think as, as an exhibition it does exactly what it's meant to do, which is actually to provoke that discussion.